Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Um, this video it's gonna be about maybe just a kind of like a day in my life, I guess. Um, but today I am home. I didn't work, so I'm with my kids. I get to enjoy them, and I'm gonna be making some breakfast uh, slash pancakes. And after that, I'm gonna do some tidying around the house. Okay, get a little bit of motivation going on. And after that, we're gonna go get a surprise for Axel. His birthday is in two days. I'm so excited. Stay tuned so you guys can see what it is. We're gonna make the pancakes. What I like to use is the pancake mix. Um, I get this from Sam's. One egg, some milk, and some oil. Whatever brand you guys want, okay? And what I like to do, to do is I like to kind of just pour it here. Pour some mixed batter. Oops, my bad. Okay. I'm not going to be making a lot today because I would just have like one kid. That, one of my three kiddos, one pancake. So, and then I'm going to get one egg, put it in there. Some vegetable oil. I would say about one tablespoon. So I kind of just guess. Mind me, that's a little bit more than a tablespoon. But anyways, okay. And some milk. You guys see me? So we're gonna pour some milk. I'm gonna put it this way so you guys can see. About there. And now we're going to blend everything together. By the way, I don't when it's blended I don't take it and put it in another cup and then pour it in the pan I just like directly pour it from the blender cup to the pan and this is how I like my batter to be you guys not too thin not too thick this is just perfect we're gonna use some olive oil of course so it doesn't stick to the pan and here we go first pancake nice the way I like to um, basically tell when my pancake is ready is by the bubbles. When I see bubbles all over the pancake, boom, turn it and it's done. Next pancake. This one is going to look so much better, watch, because it's the second one. My first one I did always doesn't come out as I want, but oh my gosh, look at those bubbles. Yes. Turn it, bam, done. I love it. Love it. L love my pancakes. Okay. Nice. Since the kids already had their breakfast, um, you know, the pancakes, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'm not having pancakes today. I'm having something called pozole. Yeah, pozole okay. is, oh, hold on, baby. <laughs> pozole is, um, it's like a stew. Um, it's very traditional. It's made with um, hominy and a lot of people use all kinds of meats, but I like to use chicken. And I just want to show you guys um, what I'm going to have for breakfast and what I eat it with. Oh, this is pozole. This mine. I make my own chicken. This is pozole. This is a stew. And these are the ingredients that go in it. Okay, I put them here, and I eat it with a tostada, and I put some sour cream on my tostada, and it's super delicious. I'm just basically gonna put everything here: some lettuce, some. This is queso fresco right here. Queso fresco. Okay, some queso fresco, some radish. Oh gosh, so delicious. Some um, serrano pepper. And I'm gonna take the avocado here. And, Mom, hold on, baby. The avocado and just put it inside, as you guys can see. Right here. And I almost forgot. We're gonna put some lime in here. Mmm, make it super delicious. So good guys, so good. So I have my tostada ready. And this is how I eat my pozole. And this is what it should look like. It is super, super delicious guys. I had a lot of people request that I should have made a video on this when I did do it because I posted a picture of it on Facebook. So my next video is gonna be to show you guys how to make pozole. Green, there's red pozole, there's green pozole. I'm gonna make in green pozole some chicken green pozole and that breakfast was delicious guys oh my gosh so good anyway so now i'm going to clean the kitchen and that is because if i go sit anywhere in my house or lay down or get my phone 
I am not gonna be able to get up again and clean I'm just gonna want to lay down and I get super lazy um, so right now I'm gonna start putting the dishes away the, the clean ones that I had already washed as you can see I want to point something out if you don't have the time to deep clean your house that is perfectly fine do not I repeat do not feel bad about it and as you can see I am not gonna deep clean right now it's gonna be some I mean I'm not going to clean my but it's not deep cleaning okay I'm just going to wash the dishes clean countertops sweep and mop and obviously as you've seen in my other videos I can go deep hard cleaning but it's not the case today so if in any other day you don't feel like it you're tired whatever whatever the situation might be or whatever you're feeling that day do not feel bad about yourself not oh my gosh my house is a mess no it's fine you know why because the mess it's not going anywhere you guys the mess stays in your house sometimes it's okay to just leave it leave the freaking mess there and then just go enjoy your day go enjoy your kids go outside whatever you have to do but I just wanted to point that out because I used to be like this. I used to care about my house being clean 24 seven and I don't anymore. There is days when I feel like it and I get deep down, you know, get that dirt, clean it, deep clean, extreme cleaning. I love it. But there is the days when I don't feel like it. So I let it be. But when I do feel like cleaning, but not deep cleaning, this is the day you guys, this is like today. I just like to make my things nice and neat but not feel at the end of the day like oh my gosh i worked so hard today like i don't i don't have the energy to do anything else no i don't want to do that to myself anyways that's just me giving free advice here um for all the mommies out there that might be feeling like some kind of way just like sometimes i feel too you know but yeah mommies you're not alone we all go through this kind of um, face, I call it. I don't know. <laughs>
and I feel overwhelmed with the dishes, I will use it. Um, but right now I use it for storage. Um, but this is the reason why I like to hand wash my dishes. And as you can see again, I am putting more dish soap with some Clorox here. 
and that is not to wash the dishes now but more like to soak in my um, rag that I like to use to clean my countertops and basically everything this green one I just love this one's my favorite I use it for everything so I'm gonna leave it there let it sit for a while and then I'll rinse it off and this is what I'm gonna use to clean my countertops and now I just feel like it's clean it's disinfected it smells good it smells super clean These scotch um, sponges that I use to wash my dishes can also get smelly if you don't wash them. So you also need to wash this if, even though you probably change it every two, three weeks. I don't know how often you change your sponge if you use one, but I change mine oftenly. But when I don't change it between the days that I use it, I always leave it to rinse just like how I did my rag. Just to make sure it gets clean and disinfected. So when I was looking over my video, I was thinking that you guys might think, what in the world is she sweeping up? This floor looks super clean. Do not, do not guys let my floor fool you. It is dirty and you're about to see what I sweeped up. Look at this, look at this, told you. Table, look at this table. It hasn't been getting super dirty lately because as soon as we eat, I try to clean it off. And so it's super easy because I just going to go over with my rag. And if it's like super, super dirty, I go over with my sponge and my soap. But right now it's not that bad, so I'm just gonna go over with my rag, as you can see after I had already sprayed my Lysol. Look at that, oh, so gross, okay. And then now that it's clean, I'm gonna also use um, the, what is it called? Um, the glass uh, foam cleaner, duh. <laughs> I'm gonna use my glass foam cleaner afterwards, here it is, and just finish it up, make it shiny and shiny and clean. And believe it or not, it is a miracle. My floor in my dining room is not dirty. It does not need to be sweeped or mopped. So we're just gonna let it be and move on to the living room. Which by the way, look at this. This looks amazing. I'm so proud that I have been able to keep up this week with the mess. Just a proud mama right here. I am so proud. Every time it's messy, I try to pick it up. Before I go to bed, I try to pick it up. If I am going to a room, I look around and if there's a toy, let me take it with me. So this is the payoff of me attempting to keep my living room clean during the whole week. And I can see it now that it has finally paid off. Now, the floor did need a little bit of sweeping. As you can see, me here bending my butt over, but um, that's about it. Wow. 
I love it. I'm just loving it. Look at that. Not bad at all, right? Look at that. Not bad at all. Moving downstairs to my family room. Look at this mess. This is crazy. My kids go crazy when I'm not here. Okay, so the reason that I feel that there is a little bit more of a mess than usual is because you guys see this white coffee table in the middle. One of my husband's co-worker gave it to him for the kiddos. It's homemade um, and it's made um, well i would say almost an attempting to make it exactly as the one that we have upstairs because they love the one upstairs they always take the toys and play with the table upstairs so we got them this table and now they love it they play down here but this is the consequences toys everywhere every day so here i am cleaning one more time <laughs> And what you see me doing right now is that I am gathering all the toys in one single spot so I can just go and sit down and organize, separate, and then put them away. This is like the thing I like to do to clean the toys. Bring everything from the entire room to one single place. Yay! And this is how I love to see the toys so organized. And um, so this is how the living room or the family room, sorry, um, ended up being. We're not going to clean or dust or anything today. No vacuuming, nothing like that. Just putting away the toys. But look at this. Doesn't it look nice? All right. Hey, guys. So I am done cleaning for today. Did the kitchen, as you guys can see here in the video. I'll show you right now. I did the dining room, like just kind of cleaned the table. I did my living room, which was not messy at all. It was like super, super good. The kids have been doing good keeping it clean. But I just want to show you guys here how um, the kitchen ended up for today. The stove was already clean, so I did not have to clean it. Here's the dishes that I washed with you guys and they're drying. Here is this. We have the dining room and this is what you guys saw me clean right now. 
so it looks really good the table was just a little bit dirty from the breakfast um, living room it looks really good not much needed everything looks good I kind of sweeped up a little as you guys can see because it was already super clean and this is a tidying that I'm gonna do for today this is all I'm gonna do for my house and now I'm gonna bring you with me to the Nebraska Furniture Mart to pick up Axel's um, surprise early gift early birthday gift Hey guys, I don't know why this is so bright, but we are here at Nebraska Furniture Mart and we got Axel's present in the back. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if I can turn this around so you guys. Oh, there it is guys. There is the present. My name is Axel and this is one of my big presents for my mom and dad gave me. So thank you, mom and dad. You're welcome. So I'm gonna chop off this. Hiya! Hey Axel, what do you think it is? Guess. Uh, what do you think it is? In a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Uh, uh, be careful with that knife, Axel. Let me have it until you're ready. Okay. What, do you, what else do you think it is? Um, the big mo a big motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yeah. Mm. Okay. <gasps> What is it, Axel? I do not even know. Oh my can you pull it out? Is this gonna fall or no? No. no. Okay. Can you pull it out? Oh, I know. It's the regular stairs. For what? What? For my bed. How you get down? Okay. So much easier? Yep. Yeah. Thumbs up. You like it? Do you give it a like to your stairs? Yep. Yeah. 